Ghana's Asante traditional buildings are the last remains of traditional architecture found in the country's northeast since it was colonized by the British. The buildings were and are made of wood and straw. Now, their walls are decorated with unique designs. In an effort to preserve this history, the Asante buildings are on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. CGTN's Nabil Akman Rufai takes us to one of the unique sites. Kumase, Ghana's second largest city. It's seen rapid urbanization since the colonial era in the 18th century. At the outskirts of this city, one can find the only surviving examples of traditional architecture, known as the Asante traditional buildings. It is structured um, with sticks, powerful ones, or strong sticks, is used to build the frame. And after the frame, they would take the earth and then mix it with water, plaster the whole frame. After plastering the frame, then they will go to the decoration. The Asante traditional buildings are courtyard houses that served as homes for the people of Kumase and neighboring towns. They were built with materials obtained from the environment, including timber and mud. The intricate designs were made to beautify the buildings, but they also have symbolic meanings. It is called Kunti Kantang. Kunti means huge. Kanta means large. Kunti Kantang Boho. Boho means reduced to the lowest earth. This means that the king of Ashanti is overall and can reduce your status to the lowest earth, can also raise you to the highest. Many of the traditional buildings were destroyed during the long wars with the British before the Ashanti people were colonized. The surviving examples of the old architecture are now shrine houses which serve a major aspect of the spiritual life of the people. Ten of these buildings have been listed under the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Ghana. These buildings originally had thatched roofs, but over time they were destroyed by heavy rains and attacks by insects. So the thatched roofs were replaced with metals to preserve and protect the structures from insects. And it requires much more to maintain the buildings. You need time energy and money. You have to pay people to uh, maintain it. So these are challenges. When you're talking about maintenance, you're talking about money. It is for this reason that some of these uh, structures, edifices, were uh, left to go rotten. Still, the people here want to preserve the authentic traditional buildings. So they have started removing the metal roofs and replacing them with thatched roofs. It may take a lot of effort to keep these buildings, but they are determined to preserve their culture and heritage. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, Ashanti Region, Ghana.